We want to welcome each and every one of you for this time of praise and worship. Amen. It's a great joy for us to praise and worship the Lord. As every time we do that, we enjoy, we feel His presence. And I'm sure that you also experience the same, the presence of the Lord. That's what is important. Everything else would go away in this world, but let's make sure that His presence we never lose in our lives. Amen. We're going to sing a few songs this time, and I'm sure that you'll be blessed. So hang on. And if you are blessed, we welcome you to introduce these songs to others so that they will also feel the blessing of the Lord. Nothing else. Only the name of the Lord to be clear. We're going to sing this song, Greater by Mercy. The song says, Bring your tired. Are you tired? Bring your shame. Are you ashamed of things that you have done in the past? Are you trying to conceal them? Don't worry. God says, Come as you are with your guilt and with your pain. Everything else. You don't need to clean up yourself and come to the presence of the Lord. You come as you are because He knows us and He accepts us as we are. The song goes on to say, There will be no condemnation. That's what the Lord says. He said, I've come here not to condemn you but to embrace you because you are holy. You might not think that, but when God looks at you, after He has cleansed you with His blood, He sees us as holy and righteous and redeemed. Amen? So sing along with us. Whatever might be your situation, come as you are because our God is greater than all of our difficulties. Let's sing this song together. Oh, oh, oh. Oh.
There'll be days I lose the battle, but grace says it doesn't matter because we know there might be temporary failures we might face in our life, but God is there. The overall victory is already won. We're just going to walk knowing that we are walking into the battle from the knowledge that we have already won the battle. So don't worry. Don't worry what people label you, but what God labels you. He says that you are my beloved. He says that I love you so much. So much so that he died on the cross for you. He said, I've engraved you in the palm of my hands. That's how much he loves us. If you love somebody, you put their picture in your wallet, right? That's how God says, I've engraved you in the palm of my hands. So that every time he looks at his hands, his nail pierced hands, he sees you. So it is for you to be on the cross. So let's cheer up. Let's fight the battles. You know, God is there because he's going before us. Amen? Amen.